where there are some North woods. Is where so you go into the woods. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Oscar, Doom, oh, we're, Shadow, we're, and Darian. We're still figuring our way around the south because we're going to follow that guy and do horrible things. Okay, so you guys are about here by the time the Porcalus. Oh, he's going to suffer so bad. Porcalus uh, opens and. Oh, no! Um, no! Uh, I, uh, are you sure? Get out there, you worm! Traitor! Uh, <laughs> he gets thrown to the ground. You can see the one-eyed raven is just watching. Uh, 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 frogs. <laughs> the the parkolis seems to be closing now. <laughs> All right, which which direction is he going? Uh, he yeah. he starts heading this way. All right, that's the way we're now on the pursuit. <laughs> we're not going to like run after him. We're going to sneak up on him. Okay, go to the south yep. side of the road, and you're sneaking through the bushes towards him. Yep. Okay, so he's walking down the road at a much quicker pace than you guys can sneak. Okay, well, the, the assumption is he's going to have to... Yep. Uh, stealth once he's eventually, yeah. a distance away from the... the once we're I, 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 do, I do need a, a stealth check as you guys are sneaking past, and you know there's actually some bugbears that are standing near the doorway talking. Let's hope this goes well. It went pretty good. <laughs> okay, they don't notice you as you're sneaking past. Uh, however, the people that are in the uh, uh, off the side of the road hiding with their horses see a man coming. <laughs> he's an ugly dude, talking. skinny. He's got his. Uh, he's got a very large, uh, a heavy flail on his back, and he's well, and, he, and he's nervously we looking. Mr. Heavy Flail, but... Yeah, he's nervously looking around. <laughs> Looking back as he's walking down the road, <laughs> he's talking to himself. Is, is that who I think it is? Are you guys off your horses by now, or? I think I think that we see that that's what's coming. We yep. get off our horses. Okay. Oh, it's. I it's, hook them to trees. It's that. It's that asshole. <laughs> to stole me. Yes. Yep. What's he doing out at the castle alone? Is he stupid? Yep. Name, not kill. Okay. You notice he, he looks at the tracks where the uh, the carriage is, and he actually wanders over to the tracks. He's looking at them. Now where am I going to find horses? One of the horses nickers. Huh? Oh, the gods. They left the horses behind. <laughs> 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 The trees don't uh, 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 the axe. <laughs> I'll bring them the horses. And I'll the be toaster ready. smiled. I'll let, maybe I'll get to drive Larith to the temple and meet the proper masters. Mm. <laughs> Here, horsey, horsey, horsey. When he's within 30 feet, I'm going to tangle foot him. Here, horse. Tangle foot. <laughs> All right, I think this is a stealth initiative. Yep, sure. Here's, he might have leveled that night, too. He did get shot in the face. Yeah, yeah. He, he did lead a bunch of adventures and to their did, doom. We are an encounter. Yep. Okay, Shadow's not here. Uh, Alkur got a 2 and Ptolemy got a 14. Well, going off for a while. And uh, Bone Crusher got a 7. And then Krieger got a 19. And all got a 7. <laughs> the maiming might not come first. <laughs> Step one, the maiming. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh, fuck! <laughs> that is what, it is what he says. <laughs> uh, Krieger, what are you doing? Uh, Krieger is going to... That's a difficult terrain. Yep. Okay, so sudden charge. <laughs> just jumping out he just comes flying out of the woods and like spear tackles him. Oh, you're tackling him? Yeah. Okay. You're trying to grab him. Yeah. 18? Uh, against his fortitude, I guess? Yeah. He does have a leg pain. He does have a leg pain. 
You will be having a luck day. Uh, you get it bang on. Okay. Uh, that's two actions. Uh, one D plus six. No, that's five. So you double moved and then and then grabbed him. I think you're done. No, no, no. Sudden charge is two actions. Oh, okay. Oh, and now you're kneeing him. And now I'm gonna punch him in the. Okay. In the some in the something. Plus five. 21. Uh, that is his AC. He's five footed because they grabbed. Oh, yeah. So, 19. Alright, so 1, 2, 4. Knee him in the balls. Knee him in the balls. <laughs> five damage. Five non lethal. <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> Help! <laughs> <laughs> Ptolemy don't, don't, don't make too much noise Is what he says I'm going to make you laugh You're, Until you pee yourself uh, Ptolemy's going to try to cast hideous laughter Isn't that a high level spell? It's a second level Rel spell Relatively speaking Because we're fourth <laughs> Yep mm -hmm. 30 feet him. 35 feet. Okay. It's two casting actions. So he's just going to move up. This is going to be fun, is what he says over his over his shoulder. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Cast his spell. Uh, the guy needs to make a will save. Watch out for the urine. It's a side effect of the spell. Uh, his will save is actually <laughs> pretty decent. Point to the other way. <laughs> he makes his will save. Success. You're not fucked. The target is plagued with uncontrollable laughter. It can't use reactions. That's a success? That's on success, yep. Holy cow. <laughs> he's just laughing at while he's being beaten by Krieger. Uh, Ald. Well, he's going to try to escape. He doesn't with one action. He then draws a dagger with another action and tries to stab uh, Krieger. <laughs> I like the laughter in between there. It's well, it's well placed. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Plus Dex? Oh, plus 10. Cool. AC 29 on Krieger? Uh, yeah, that hits. Chudy, is it a crit? Nope. Okay, he stabs Krieger for 5 damage, or slashes at him. Ow. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> it's like he's really ticklish for some reason. Tall, he's going. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bone Crusher. Let's get in there. Um, so, let's see. This is all difficult train? Yep. I don't know. It's fucking messed me out of this shit. 25 is 50 feet, so that's, um, I have, so up to there is 50 feet, and I have a 35 foot, so that's 20 more. Uh, okay. Crap. 20 more feet. There. I get to there and I flurry, dumbass. Okay, you can try. You see 19 flat footed. Oh, I'm probably not going to hit him because it's me we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. Not factor. All right, so plus 11. Bell off fling wagon. Ooh. That's a hit. You go over and knee him. Uh, these are ooh, two hits, non lethals. Uh, 2d8 plus 8. 
There we go. 13 damage. 13 on lethal. Nice. Uh, you are... You feel good as you're beating the piss out of him. You go running out of the bushes and, and, and punch him twice in the face. Oh, <laughs> been waiting for this. He's, still, he's still laughing. <laughs> Alker? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I didn't go. It's supposed to be 2d6 instead of 2d8. Uh, which is the exact same result. Because I'm not in Mountain Stance. Okay. Kerr's going to forbidding ward Ald and Krieger. Okay. And then just shield herself just in case. Krieger? Uh, Krieger is going to. Uh, I'm going to beat him up some more, I guess. Are you grappling, doing a grapple or no? I guess I gotta maintain the gravel. Mm -hmm. uh, fail. Yep. He wiggles uh, his way up. Flat footed? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't, know if, I don't know if flat footed affects your fortitude DC. I don't think so. So they... I get him on the second one, though. Okay, you grab him again. Uh, I'll 20 again. On the third one, just to swing at him. He's wiggling away from you. Yeah. Ptolemy. Fucking worm. <laughs> I think he's going to drop the, uh, the hideous laughter. It's duration sustained. Okay. He is going to maybe cast a... The lights have revealed my dirty basement. <laughs> chill touch. <laughs> He'll move out to here. Touch him. <sighs> Conjuring up necromantic energy and automatically touches him. He stops laughing. You have a taste of necromancy. Uh, 1d4 plus your casting modifier. It's a cantrip, so... It is heightened, so 2d4. Eight damage, and he has to make a basic fort, basic save. fort save, which he fails. So Eleven. he is enfeebled for one round. No, that's a critical failure, that's so he just takes damage. So he takes eight real damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ald is going to try to escape. It's versus your fort DC. Yep. Um, my fort DC is twenty. Uh, no wait. Uh, for Krieger, I think it's twenty-one. So I think he's using an athlet, uh, an acrobatics check to escape. You can do that. I believe that's how it works. There's an escape a action. Um, it's something against uh, shit. I don't remember. Yeah, it'd be twenty-one for his uh, for the DC anyway. Okay. Um. Acrobatics, spells, tumbleweeds, squeeze, maneuver, and flight. No athletics. Climb. Uh, yeah, condition. Here, no, it's, it's it's an action type called escape. Let me see. Grabbed. Action. Escape basic action on four seventy. Escape action is an attack type action, um, and you use your unarmed attack modifier against the DC of the effect. It's an yeah, uh, unarmed attack modifier against the athletics DC. Okay, so he has a it's plus. Take ten athletics check. I believe he has a plus ten on his uh, unarmed. That would that would do it then. Um, there's also something else. He, in order to pull out yeah. that dagger, he needed to do a flat check. That's fine. Okay. I'll remember that next.
next time. So, uh, he wiggles out of he's he's wormy Krieger, he's really wormy. Uh, you you can attempt an acrobatics or an athletics check instead of using your attack modifier if you choose. Okay. Ah. Neat. Uh, so yeah, he wiggles his way out. Fuck you. And got a dagger and a flail. His flail's not out, but he has a flail on his back. Oh, okay. He moves towards the horses and gets on one. Yeah, fucking hell you do. <laughs> the horse is still tied to a tree. It's still tied to a tree. <laughs> trying to reach. He's obviously trying to reach down on untie diet. Bone crusher. Wee! <laughs> this is fine. Um, can I still reach him from there? Yep. Okay, so that's one. Whack, 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 whack. One, two, 20 plus 11. Yay. Here we go. I'm like a champ. No, you're not. Yeah, I am not. I am not rolling like champion at all. Get off me! Get off me! I need horses! Get down here! <laughs> I need this horse more than you do! Alker? I must get back in the good graces! I must! Somebody shoot this bastard. Lay Shadow. down on the ground! Is it a command? I am casting command on him. Hmm. He doesn't like you. <laughs> 24 for his save. Uh, no! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> That's what he yells back. No! I will not lay down on the ground. I will not. I'm going to take this hole. That... That spell. <laughs> Krieger. <laughs> Krieger. Uh, hit him with the axe. <laughs> His eyes go white. No, don't hit me with the axe. <laughs> Moose here. Oh, the chill one touch move. did bloody him with the non-lethal. So with one move, I am going to try and grab him. Okay. Um, so you're just doing an acrobatics check, right? 21. Is his... Oh, okay. For my last action, he's just going to grab where the... The, like the reins to keep Athletics. them from undoing the uh... okay <clears throat> Ptolemy no you don't comes running over and chill touches him Basic board save. he fails so he takes 2d4 plus 4 for 8 more damage Ugh, oh, stop touching me like that <laughs> you're worse than Larry. He is going to try an acrobatics check to jump from one horse to another. <laughs> <laughs> no, he fails. He ends up he ends up falling off. My spell worked. <laughs> 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 He's got his dagger out still. Back. So he took an action. He failed. He then is going to cut the rope or attempt to cut the rope. Um, doing five damage. I think that's probably enough to get a rope. He cuts, cuts the rope on that horse and then we'll get on to the horse. But when he fell, did he fall and land on his feet? He, he fell on his feet, yeah. Okay. Crusher is going to... Oh, fuck. I'm moving it and twitch. Bone Crusher. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. So, Crash can move over here and try to grapple the bastard. Okay. He didn't so crit it's... fail, he just failed. It's against his DC, right? Yes. 21. Cut. You're fighting a fourth level rogue right now. Fourth level survivalist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 28, baby. All right, you're, 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 gra you're grabbed. grabbed him. Come here. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me. I didn't do anything to you. 
Uh, can I flurry him now? Yeah, that counted as an attack, though. So you take the attack penalty. You moved and you grabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> you hitting yourself? Oh, damn it. Uh, wait, can I... Um... Wait, I moved. I grabbed. Oh, I already attacked. Okay, it's fine. I wanted to grab the rope, but somebody else can do that. Grab the rope. Okay, I'll cur. Uh, I have one more attack. Oh. Fucking of course. Get off of me! Get off of me! Elker. Uh, slippery bastard. Elker is gonna shoot him <laughs> with the divine lance. Okay. AC twenty one. Oh, uh, yeah. He's footed because he's grabbed. AC nineteen critical hit. You're welcome. <laughs> Seventeen law damage. <laughs> oh, okay. Twenty. Thirty-three. <laughs> Forty-three. Fifty-one. Okay, uh, that just sends him flying off the horse. Uh, Crusher, you can pull him down if you want. Yep. You know, like you could make let him fall, and he would take more damage. Pull, but you just pull him. You just pull, pull him, pull him down. Just lock him up. What a strange bastard! Says Ptolemy. Well, I don't actually know his parentage, so he may not be a bastard, but he acted I, like a bastard. I'm fairly certain he's a bastard. Mm. I'm pretty sure he's a bastard. Yeah. Good call. Good call, my lord. Trying to detect magic on him. Yeah. Ping. Oh. Uh, let's Where's see. Where's Oscar when he needs to get some pants? <laughs> he is a fourth level character. I think there's a wealth by I'm just gonna take a look up uh, what war flail is, because that might be fun. Okay. Two, 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 two. Got it. Disarm, sweep, trip. 1d10 bludgeoning. Two load. All right. Uh, give me a, a d20. All right. Oh. That's fine. Five. Okay. Uh, I think think this is magical? So there's this weird skeleton key. Uh, you okay. want to add this to fifth level permanent items? Fifth level items. Unidentified strange key. Unidentified strange key. Okay. Next. Uh, D20. Mark, don't roll it. I'm going to do it like yeah. that. One. Okay. His uh, leather armor has uh, runes on it. It's also a level five item. Oh, hey, hey. Five runes, leather armor. Okay. Two more D20 rolls. Go ahead. Nine and two. Uh, the, the the leather armor, the ruined leather armor is what level item? Fifth. Uh, fifth. Fifth. Okay. These are also fifth level items. I think Clarith is fifth level. <laughs> okay, you find an oil, and it's it's a salve. And then two, you find a potion of sorts, and it has a cheetah's claw in it. Okay, on to, on to fourths. I need uh, two d20 rolls. It's 
Six and one. I like to think we're getting a bunch of bad combat rolls out of life. <laughs> okay, he has a bag that when you put your hand into it to see what's going on, your hand keeps on going into the bag. Yay! Because we all love these. Treasure bag. And his, um, his heavy flail is plus one striking. <gasps> so, uh, unidentified bag of holding. <laughs> yep. And a plus one striking heavy flail. Darian might put down his shield for that. And then two consumable items. Level four, I mean two d20s. Fourteen and thirteen. <clears throat> okay, um, there is a arrow that looks like it is made from a snake. We'll call it a viper arrow. And there is a potion with a bit of floating bark in it. Okay. And now we're on to third level items. Two rolls. Go ahead. D20. 17, or 715. Okay, inside the bag later on you'll find a shadow rune. Is that like the, an armor rune? I believe so. Okay. And a magic scarf. And the last two rolls. Eleven and twenty. Okay, there's a feather token of a bird. This guy had a shitload of stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's a, a named dude uh, and a potion that has a... Mm, it's actually labeled healing potion. It's a lesser healing potion. <laughs> All right. Uh, so... Uh, he seems rather well equipped, but does he have a peg leg? No. Then he's not well equipped enough. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in your in the bag, once you identify it and ha and have it, uh, also in the bag. Some of the small stuff was in the bag, so you have to figure it out. Uh, he'll have maybe three hundred and eleven silver pieces. All right. That's thirty. Wait, thirty gold. It's all it was bueno. Okay, by the time you guys have like looked at everything, uh, there's a group of people hiding in the bushes that are now running across the road towards you. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look out for the wolf! Oh, no, you, this one's with me. Serious? We didn't, he couldn't have waited for us? Son of a bitch. Hey, everybody's... Nobody's dead. <laughs> you have a handy axe and a healer, just what you need. 
Okay. <laughs> sitting in a, sitting in a tall tree across the road, kind of kind of squawks at you once is the one-eyed bird. Uh, are we doing well? Who are you talking to? Oh, um a somewhat deific being? Fury. Uh, uh, Hello. Okay then. Okay, it it's looking it's now looking directly at Alker. Oh, it's that's not what I was hoping for. <laughs> um Are we the heroes of this story? Okay. Or the villains? <laughs> it stares into your very soul, and you can hear the, the din of battle rising. Um, you see yourself on this horrible, tangled battlefield. A battle that you've never fought before. And you're like, around me! And you're letting out this pulse of healing, and you can see a bunch of like injured soldiers starting <clears throat> to get up. Just sort of a flash. How old did I look, or was I? You, you were in your own body, so you don't know. Okay, so your, your hands were covered in blood. You were wearing silverish mithril stuff. You had you had like a spear in your hand. <laughs> what was my AC? Your question is what? What was my the, AC the like? sky? The sky was dark with with like <coughs> strange smoke and a strange redness, and like there were tangled bodies and metal all around you, and you Alker visibly like kind of staggers back and. I will take that as seemed heroic <laughs> in kind of the classical way. <laughs> It, it, it like cocks it off to the side and blinks once. I'm feeling better about this. We should put a little bit of distance between us and the moat house. Oh, you mean before we start making this guy scream? Yeah, probably. Mm. Where's, where's <laughs> my carriage? The carriage. <laughs> Actually, we're pretty. We actually got some good distance between us and the boat house already. <laughs> like, like a hundred meters, or like we're more than a foot. We're uh, what, three hundred meters away? Mm -hmm. um, three football fields. Yeah. Three football fields. It's a long way. This one tried to steal our horses. <clears throat> he said that he needed them more than we did. Perhaps that's because oh, yeah, they have our carriage. Uh, he got kicked out by, uh, whatever, uh, Goldilocks. Because, uh, Goldilocks, Goldilocks was upset. <sighs> well, we should probably tie him up before we wake him up. Yeah, why don't we, uh... I would suggest gagging him. He probably well, screams really loud. It's probably going to be hard for him to answer questions with a gag in his mouth. Right. Unless they're yes, no. Alright, but first, I see you guys did a pretty good job piling up the stuff. But you missed the fact that he is still wearing pants. Wearing pants, I told you! <laughs> <laughs> well, you're taking off his armor? And then yes. tying him up, okay. And, and taking we'll, off his pants. We yep. to bleed all over he he also has a regular dagger that he was fighting with, and uh, oh, it, it, oh, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You tie him up to a tree, or are you tying him just so you can move him around. We're tie gonna, him to him. We'll tie him to a tree. Okay. Mm. But we'll tie him in such a way as like one would tie a buck that you're about to clean. <laughs> okay, got it. So he's upside down. Well, no, he's just up there like oh, this. Okay. <laughs> it's very, very vulnerable. And I think we're gonna turn a kit one leg. 
okay, so you're you're like cutting off the circulation in one leg. Yep. <laughs> you know, on the farms when they want to uh, to uh, you know when they don't want the bulls to um, you know impregnate the cows because they're bad or whatever. Um, they uh, they do the same thing to other parts until they just fall off. <laughs> I got an idea. Why don't you, uh, why don't you blindfold him and make those tourniquet real tight? I got a neat trick. <laughs> uh, Bone Crusher ties up the the horse that was that was cut. That was. Why don't you tell me what the... this trick is before we start laughing about it? No, you <laughs> see. When you blindfold them, their imagination goes off. You can tell them that you're cutting his leg off, but you're just just touching it with a little knife, and he'll believe it, because his mind will go all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would fool me. <laughs> no, you'd be surprised. Mm, nope. Okay. Let's just start asking him questions. Oh, come on, just try it. Please. <laughs> no. How about we ask him questions first and see if he doesn't decide to cooperate. All right, How about so my way? so much more fun? You're, you're waking him up? What or? the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, effective, effective. <laughs> so one of the nice things they've done in the system is they wake up after 10 minutes or a DM-stated suitable amount of time. So you don't have to risk your god's anger by blowing yep. you. So the non-lethal just slowly goes away? Uh, I think non-lethal is still like per hour. Okay. But it's when you're unconscious. He can wake up. Minutes, yeah. Then you get a hit point, right? Yep. Alright, so he's starting to rouse, if you're waiting. Uh, we throw some water on him or something. <laughs> hey, did we get the right leg uh, there, buddy? Uh, uh, you're worried you were bleeding out. Oh, uh, let me down. This is not comfortable. Let me down. Uh. Hey, uh, hey, Doom. He was whispering to Doom. Yep. Act like you want to bite him and eat him. So you're... He's acting like he's going all snarly and shit. I'm like holding back. Like, no, 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 don't go for his nuts. No, no, don't go for him. Okay, so you're, or yet. you're ordering your dog to bite him, but you're holding your dog back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he's going crazy, I tell you. He's going crazy. <laughs> no, don't let the dog near me. I don't want to be bit. Well, why don't you answer a few questions for us? Okay. Are you using an intimidate? I am, and it's I'm using coercion. Okay, he you get a plus two to the roll because Shadow is got a dog Freaky that's trying to. You get another <laughs> plus two to his roll because he's completely helpless. Um, well, it's a plus four, and then if anyone else is aiding, you could try to aid in this. Anyone else like, want to try to aid? Acting menacingly. It's yeah, cr Crusher. Oh, uh, Crusher will grab like a stick and goes <laughs> punch right through it. <laughs> okay, like a, like a board or something. Ptolemy's oh, making spooky, spooky kind of like I'm gonna touch you again with my <laughs> with my chill touch. <laughs> Let me ask you this: Do you have the intimidate skill? It's a very good question. Because uh, maybe you shouldn't be eight. helping if you don't. <laughs> okay, that's a plus. In that's intimidate a... Crusher has a plus six. Plus one from Oscar. Is that what we're looking at? Yep. Plus one from Oscar. Okay. So uh, you have to roll. Tw twenty-four from Crusher. You critically. Succeed, so that's a plus two from from Crusher. So I'm at a plus three. Ptolemy has a plus ten intimidate. Uh, oh, seven. that's another plus two from Ptolemy. So I'm at plus nine now. On top okay. of your, your base bonus. Yep. Yeah, so plus 19. And I've got <laughs> lasting coercion, so my coercion should last, can last up to a week. Okay. 21. Uh, that beats his DC of 20. Well, good thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, please, please don't hurt me. I, I, I'm just a poor old man, a foolish man. I, I had no prospects. My farm, you see, it, it died out long ago. Uh-huh. Uh, 
full of half truths. Why don't you start by telling us who this Larith fella is? Oh, Larith the Beautiful. He is, he is, he is the, the lord of the boathouse, I suppose. Boathouse is very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. He, he is the one that, that, uh, uh, that, 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 that commands the ghouls. Ah, uh huh. He looks at Oscar and Shadow. <laughs> Those are the goblin things, right? Yeah. They're not goblins. Uh, four of them. He sent them out this morning to go and try to find those that have been attacking us to try to find you. Yeah, they won't be coming back. Well, you're brave warriors, are you? <laughs> you killed bandits and then you fought the bugbears and the You gnomes. sure you want to do that? I didn't even wash today. Kissing oh. my ass might not be a good idea. Oh. <laughs> oh what do you, you want to know about Larith? <laughs> Larith is a caster. He, he's got the magic. I've seen him do horrible things. What kind of horrible things? Well, he can leech your life force with but a touch. Oh. That's unpleasant. You know what that is, Ptolemy. He worships some demon. I hear him whispering to her. The, uh... Do you know the demon's name? I think so. She's called Loth. Spider uh, demon. Religion check. Sure. Knowledge, what the hell? <laughs> shit, shit, shit. I did not see that one coming. I would have guessed a bunch of names before that one popped. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Yes. Same here. Tw uh, 23 on the religion. Uh, yeah, an ancient demoness. Um, she is the... Somehow attached to the creation of dark elves. She betrayed... She betrayed El the elven race long ago, and... And Larith is, a uh... Dark Elf? No. Oh. We haven't seen Larith, so... Larith is a man, although he may have elvish blood. He is very, well, beautiful. Uh-huh. I prefer the company of women, but I suppose he's beautiful. Okay, I didn't ask you about that. He's a. Uh, he whispers to the spider in the darkness. He's sent here by the masters of the temple. What temple? Well, the temple near Nob. Great and a foreboding place. You don't want to go there. And it's a temple of this wolf? No, I don't know. I don't think so, although I think there are horrible things in there. Horrible things. How much more bullshit you got hidden under the moat house? What is, uh, bullshit? Creatures. Bugbears. What other monsters lie beneath that we have to deal with? It is it is Lareth's men and the gnolls and the bugbears. Um, How many does Lareth have? Uh, uh, he thinks for a moment. You've killed the ghouls. You killed the ogre, Lubash. How many ghouls did you have? Four, I think. He looks at the others. I think there's four. <laughs> yeah, there's four. Yeah. Uh, there are six men, seven, seven men that serve uh, Lareth. Uh, they're, yeah, all, sure. they're all trained with crossbows and swords. Uh, his, his guard is, well... He, he might be a, a better warrior. Are there any casters among his men other than him? No, Lareth is the only caster that I know that is still in the moat house. How many more bugbears? Um, I'm not sure the condition. Well, I think you killed... No, uh, you killed one. So there should be five, I think. Five left. 
And how many more gnolls? Uh, six, I think. Yeah, we found the two bodies. Uh, the gnolls upstairs. Uh -huh. Oh, there's, there's a spider. What? In the tower closest to us, there's a big spider that Lareth sometimes feeds. Right. Why? 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 It's about the size demon. of a pony. It's a big hunting spider. He worships no. the spider demon. <sighs> so. We've got to destroy that thing. Well, all right. Any more booby traps down there? Um, there might be. Uh... Why do you only travel south in the cell with the ogre? What? In the cell. The large room where the, the ogre was. Oh, yeah, the prison cell. We keep prisoners there. Do you have any prisoners now? No, uh, most recent, uh, we sent them to the temple. Or to Nolb, I think. But I think from there they go to the temple. And what happens to them when they get to the temple? Ah, oh, very bad things, I think. Let's try and be a bit more specific, shall we? There are masters at the temple, other great casters, I believe. Lareth would know more about the masters and what it is they're trying to uncover, what it is they're looking for. I think they're looking for something. Are they set to death, sacrificed, or just made to work? all possibilities. I myself decided to join the bandits instead of becoming one of their captives. Hmm. They take people away and they don't come back, that's for sure. Lareth seems to pick out the beautiful ones, however. He has an eye for beauty. Where do they go? To the temple. So bastard. I have a question. Somewhat unrelated to this previous discussion, but crucial nonetheless. Why, when you are confronted by foes, do you yield the dagger of non-remarkable craftsmanship when you wield a heavily enchanted flail, or wear a heavily enchanted flail? Not very good with the flail, but I know... I know it's worth. I think enchanters could 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 make a more suitable item for my skill. More powerful. But now it's yours to keep. Yes, now it's yours. Gee, thanks. You're, you're quite welcome. <laughs> so, uh, your leg feeling better? No, it's actually hurting. Well, you're, you're making a tingle. Not in a good way, though. Not a good tingle. No, no. I, I, just leave. Could you undo that strap for me, please? You did hit me with an arrow. It hurt. Very good shot, by the way. Where's the wagon? Ah, uh, they pulled it into the courtyard. And in what condition? Well, uh, they, they, they saw it a suitable offering to Lareth. Sort of an apology, I suppose, for letting you get so far into our defenses. And the treasure pile? Uh, what? Your treasure pile? Uh, in, in, the, in the room where the bandits done met their banditry end. Oh, I'm sure the gnolls and the Bugbears and the men are div divving the spoils. Uh, and the head pile? The head pile's still there, right? Head pile? Well, they were a body pile. It was going to be... A, you still got the bodies. Oh, Just yes. They they're, heads. They'll likely be used as um, frog fodder, or perhaps Lareth will make some more zombies. Are you fucking shitting me? We're back. <laughs> we, we need to bring their heads back, because bandit heads... Are worth money. Ooh. And they're banded pants, too. Oh, I got the pants. Uh, I got this guy's pants. Well, good thing I'm just a poor old farmer from Nob. Yeah, huh. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, if it wasn't for the fact that I wanted to turn in pieces, I kind of like this one. Oh, yes, I'm very likable. I can help yes. you out, you know. There's all sorts of things to find around here, and I know where they are. Like? Oh, I could show you the other entrance into the underground. Lareth, oh, is, it, he doesn't like when other people use it. But it would get you in very close to his chambers. That's a good start. You let me down? We'll let you down. Hmm. Ald can help you. Ald had better not be thinking of running. Oh no. Running for the likes of you? Look at that one over there. Pointing to the Krieger. And that one. Bone Crusher. Right. Very bad for your health. I understand. I understand. My leg, though. It is actually hurting now. Let him down. Okay. Cut it so that he falls on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so Shadow cuts it so he falls on his ass. He kind of... He's knocked out again. You don't fall too hard. He's got a hit point. Oh, ah. shit. That's a shame. <laughs> okay. Slapping him does not make him wake up. I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's still breathing. Okay, so what's the plan with this guy? Are we just going to... Make him into a farmer with a nasty limp when he's done? No. I think he's heading back to the town. We're taking him back to town. They'll likely hang him, says, says, says Ptolemy. That is what they do with bandits. Yeah. That's the law, right? I say we just do it here. Well, we could, but we're not judges. That's not the law. Does that Besides, mean I'm the law? Sis told us. me. <laughs> yes, is I'm the the law. Oh, Lord. No, my Lord. <laughs> I think we're in the wrong quadrant. Oh, yes. We're in, um... No ban, I believe. Yes. So, um... He should answer to the law. I am the law. And we should not be unnecessarily cruel. If he is to be killed, then he should be killed quickly and without pain. And if he is to face trial, then he should be brought in a civilized manner. All that being said, let's give him a chance to atone and show us where this fucking door is first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping his pants. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so he wakes up. He's pantless. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. So yes, Fox, we've got permission to kill them, but keep in mind, my character is a paladin, so he sees a difference between killing in battle and murdering a <laughs> His ruined uh, leathers. Mm -hmm. like, tell me more about these things. And how they magically fit a dwarf. And how they fit a dwarf. <laughs> yeah. Plus one leather armor and they can fit a dwarf. Perfect. Uh, Oscar's gonna put on this dude's armor. Okay. Oh, it seems to be tight fitting. A little tight around the midsection. So, um, Darren's kind of looking at the flail. This is, uh, magic, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, it, it is. It would take me some time to identify it. Okay. Uh, we could probably... Take he he smiles a it. false smile. It is a warrior's weapon. What do you mean by that? You're a warrior. It's a weapon. As I said before, my farmer hands were never trained in such a thing. He hits a tree with it. <laughs> yeah, the tree, like, fucking just splits and it's doing basically double dice damage. 
anyone mind if I give this a try in battle? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, this is called a... No, it's not a flail. It is a... I think it's a war flail. War flail. Uh, 2d10 bludgeoning. It's disarm, sweep, and trip. Nice. So this is plus a armor with a plus one potency rune? Yep. Okay. The resiliency rune is the saving throw, so... Interesting. Cool. It's a two-step thing. Hmm. Um, we're going to have to go far to the... to the east. Larith has commanded me to fetch horses. He wants to use your wagon, your great carriage, to ride back in style to the temple to perhaps impress the masters that he serves. Well then. If you gave me those horses, I could get back into their good graces. Would it be suspicious with you not having your pants in your flail? Yeah, you could give me my pants back. I could tell them you captured me, but then I got away with your horses when you weren't looking. Anyone actually considering that <laughs> takes the marrow to the head? I could get back into the good graces and I could help you gain access from the inside. I could be your mole. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> it's a much better plan than just walking into the back entrance. Oh, our plan's going to be great as soon as you tell us everything that's in there. Well, I don't use the entrance. I'm not allowed, but I know where it is. I'm certainly good at opening doors. Oh. Why are you obsessed with my legs? Because you said they were hurt. Came to help you because your leg was hurt. Oh, that's that old fib. Let bygones be bygones, for sure. It's not good to tell lies. No, it's not. Better to tell truths, even if there are future consequences. Who's that tell lies get their legs broke? He is going to be upset that you killed his ghouls. I wonder if he's going to be upset when I've got my dagger up his ass and I work him like a puppet. That would probably be quite upsetting. I know I would be upset. Okay, what, what are you guys doing? Tying the horses to a tree here, and yep. we're going to on foot loop around to the... Yep. Worst case scenario is they find the horses, attach them to the wagon, and after we kill them, we have a horse with the wagons already attached. <laughs> okay, Krieger with five damage and Darien with four. It looks like the. Uh... Uh, no, no. We'll we'll fix that up before. Okay. okay. And re recoup your yeah. spells, kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. The characters are never wandering into situations injured. Never. That's what champions do. Priests, on the other hand, ah, no, they can't do shit. They, they, they try to stitch okay. it together and then they're done. When you guys you start got to how leave, much damage? Okay, get a bit more, then come back. The the <laughs> we'll the make this <laughs> the one-eyed raven just sort of flies off when you guys when you guys are leaving. I get watch that exchange. All right, you sneak around. Uh, the the place is closed. The bugbears are no longer standing at the. Uh, at the entrance, uh, you don't hear a lot of talking or anything inside. You, uh, unless someone's got some spare room, Darian's gonna leave his sword and shield kind of with the horses. Uh, What's their bulk? Uh, two. Um, or let me double check with the shield. I think it's still one. But uh, Oscar's non-magical armor gets left behind. Uh, although, uh. I can carry it's one bulk for you. So Alcur will attempt to identify the the, um, the extra dimensional space. Yep. While that healing was going on. Yep. Um, 
Fifth level item is DC 20. DC 20? And uh, it's... Is it arcane, or did, did I get to pick which one? Hey, you, could, you could use arcane. Well, I don't anticipate I'm going to need it, but... Uh, I'd um, prefer to use religion if I could. But... Mark, uh... Crusher can carry one... one bulk. Okay, but I, I don't expect I'm going to need it, so we don't really need to carry it. Is... Okay, just hide it somewhere. Yeah, I'm just, he's just going to leave it with the horses. Do you need your horse to do undead? Fox is just... I just checked I just checked the chat. Fox is very convinced to do something horrible with that man. Uh, I am also somebody who gets to talk to him. It. And it's like, no, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's probably Arcane. Captured uh, bandits. So 17, I don't crisis. fully fathom. Okay, and then Ptolemy can try. <laughs> Ptolemy gets a plus 10. Get a kill for okay. Hey, copycat, how you doing? Uh, he does not get it. Okay. Uh, so we don't fully understand it. We'll just bring it with us. Yep. We won't, like, put more things in it. It has one bulk itself. Okay. I'll try to take that. Uh, and, like, the stuff that we found in it, we'll put it back in there so that we've got the... Uh, thing. Because uh, Alkers doesn't carry too uh, and Alcur will leave his crossbow behind. Okay. <laughs> he's never used this thing. I don't even know why he's got it. All right. So um, he brings you really far off to the side. <laughs> uh, he reveals a uh, there is a there is a tiny trail that trackers like sh like Shadow um, can see. And it leads up to a rocky outcropping, and there is uh, some brush, and like an like an old like trap door that's off its hinges that is kind of lying underneath the brush, uh, and there is a definite hole that descends into a hallway. This is the back entrance. You're going to let me go, right? <laughs> Crusher looks at him like, "This will allow you to." Just this will allow you to sneak into Lareth's domain. <laughs> and is there a trap on the door down there? I, I don't know. We're not permitted that into that part of the uh, the the um, um the moat house. May the gods protect you. Uh, I'm feeling very strained from today's. Um, uh, my old bones are aching. I think I'm well, just going to wait here. I think that's a good idea, actually. Take a load off. Oh, thank Tie you. Tie up to a tree. Oh, well, that's <laughs> not necessary. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. Uh, right, so are you tying him to a tree? Are you doing anything else to him? No, he's just swinging there like a pinata. Okay. Mm, why don't we just gag him and punch him? You can once the paladin turns his bags. Oh, I forgot you guys are violent. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> Crap. <laughs> so Shadow's now punching all. No, no. Um, Crusher's Crush is gonna, like, like, here. Just to make sure you don't scream. Okay. So you put a gag on him. <laughs> okay, he, you you knock him out for ten minutes, or until the DM deems <laughs> for at least ten minutes. <laughs> That's now how knockouts work. It's every ten minutes you have to double the guy in the head. Okay, so I'm going to uh, you follow the tunnel for a little while, and you end up here on the map. Uh, you're kind of heading in. Who's in front? Whoever's in front is. Uh, Oscar is going to be in front. Okay. Oscar is Shadow's... looking for traps. Yep. Shadow's uh, next. I think I can aid you, or do I need a skill for that? Because I have thievery. No, thievery. Thievery? The trap spotter gives me auto detect on traps. Oh, you do? But, like, I, I don't have to search, but if I'm searching, I get two rolls. Yeah. <clears throat> Shadow search, searching for traps. Searching for 
I'm surprised that's not a dessert. Mark. Mark, Mark. So, Mark, Mark doesn't have a uh, water, water has kind of seeped into here, making it almost like a ramp as you're going down. Um, there are some uh, some roots of trees that are growing in. You're kind of splashing through a few puddles, but you do see that there are dungeon walls that are very similar to the moat house uh, basement that you came in through before. Uh, in the dim light, uh, Oscar can see that there are a couple of doors and that there is actually light spilling underneath the crack of the northern door. Well then. But it's kind of like torchlight or firelight. We're going to sneak up on that. Okay, so Oscar's sneak us up on that. Give me a, a trap. Uh, trap check. Trap check, yep. <coughs> um, Shadow's been spying, or looking for, searching for traps. Okay. So Oscar gets two checks because you're looking for traps, and Shadow gets one. 28 is the better of the two. Yep. 18, because I'm awesome. Okay, Oscar stops everyone as he sees this faint tracery of a magical trap along the ground. You think stand, you think uh, um, walking over this section of the dungeon will set off the trap. Uh, disabling? Yeah, let me, let me look up the rules for uh, magic hazard. Yes. Additionally, I'm looking up the dispel magic. I got one of those. And so does Ptolemy. <coughs> if I if you're you're doing that as a sorcerer, right? Yep. Or as a, an occultist. Yep. Um, so I should probably stop prepping that because you could do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Five twenty. It's an Armageddon orb! What the fuck? Level 23 trap? Jesus. Thank, thank you, no. <laughs> oh. Unattended magic item. So you can't dispel magic on somebody's sword while they're wielding it. Okay. Uh, you know that this is an electrocution rune. You could... You can... Uh, you can try to disable it, or you can try to dispel it. But jump right over it. Or you could you could run and try to jump right over it without. Well, let's try the old-fashioned way. Uh, can I eat? Do I have any sense of how hard these things are? Uh, you know that this is a. Expert level trap. Shadow can try to aid. I have a plus uh, plus ten. Ptolemy is going to ready a dispel magic if you guys fuck it up. Alcur will also ready a dispel magic. Okay. Which. Uh, I should have just fucking done it myself. Uh, out 29. Of combat, out of combat, I'm, I'm guessing because. Can't ready spells in combat. Yeah, this is yeah. this is enough of a tense situation that that's that's fine. Cool. All right, twenty nine. Uh, um, twenty nine uh, does not critically. Well, give me a second. It's an expert, so it does not critically aid. So only a plus one. <sighs> it also means that shadow is up there. In the blast zone. In the blast zone. In the blast zone. Okay, an expert level trap is DC 20. So the two of you, the, the, uh, cut, you cut and sort of short circuit some of the, uh, sort of the, the tracery of the runes, and it, it ripples across the floor. It kind of burns up as you guys uh, disable the trap. XP! Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, there's a CR3 hazard. <laughs> That would have done 3d12 electrical damage to anyone who, who wandered over it. <laughs> Which is potentially enough to, like... Oh, is it a basic reflex save? Basic, yep. What's the DC of the reflex save? 22. So, if you get a 12 on your reflex save, which people can do naturally, 
that is a like 60 60 12 12 trap trap. yeah (laughs) ptolemy like like gives alcura a look like this is tense uh, at this point in time, the light from outside, you, uh, uh, do you have somebody who's got a light spell going, or what's your light source? Like, it's uh, dark down here. Dark visioners, no light visioners right yeah. now. I think yep. we're going to we'll cast light on... Someone in the back. Darian's new flail. It's magic. Oh, you can't cast... Think I can Does that it. mean you can't put light on it? Correct. Give me a second. They made light Don't you have to uh, spend points to like attune to a magic item? One. I think I read that. Un- it, it, weapons you don't have to attune to. Yep. Yeah. One yeah. unattended non-magical object. One bell. So it's too big. The first part. Yep. It's too bulk. Okay. So um, we will cast it on a R. A sash, and I'm gonna tie the. I'm gonna cast it on a ribbon, and I will tie the ribbon around Darian. Okay. Like a, around, like a little corsage or whatever. Like. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Ptolemy looks dejected that he gets a fancy ribbon, and <laughs> the, and his <laughs> lord does it. Your squire should be a glowing beacon for you in the dark. Yes, a glowing beacon of hope, and and to to get all the crossbowmen attacking him instead of me. Good thought. You're right beside him when he's saying this. You're muted, Mark. Yeah. Good thought. Okay, <laughs> the uh, Doom comes running up to Shadow and kind of wet noses you in the back of the leg. Okay, sneak up to this door. Stay window. back. Yep. You think, the, you, th- you think those assholes are going to come back? I don't know. I hope not. They sure, they sure took a... Lubash certainly took a beating. Yeah, we got Lareth, though. Nice of them to give us a nice carriage. Yeah, hopefully we'll get some coin for that. <laughs> so, is, <laughs> this door, does it have a lock on it? Uh, the door does have a lock on it. You can see through the pe- you could you could actually like look yeah. through the peephole, and yeah. you see a long hallway lit by uh, uh, like fiery braziers. Um, and it ends in sort of a, a nook, and two guys about halfway down the, the, the hallway. Uh, these guys have heavy crossbows out. Ah, we'll make them light crossbows. Light crossbows and um, shields, and okay. we'll, we'll say one-handed flails. So, so what's down the other, the other uh, door? There's no light down that other door. Uh, and can the, see and, dark. dark vision. And this door is not, uh, is not locked. There is a angular hallway uh, with some rubble um, along this area. Okay, so <clears throat> like impassable? No, no, no. I, I mean, like perhaps difficult like terrain. Difficult kind of terrain. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. It's not like close. Like chunks, okay. of, chunks of rock that have fallen down and they've just sort of been collected up into that, like swept into that area. Right. Um, so and the north and then door is locked, the west door yeah, is and this leads to uh, another hallway. It seems to be quiet that way. Uh, ooh, we're gonna see if we can pick the lock to the north door. Okay. Sh- Shadows like <laughs> go west. Go west. Try to aid you. Uh, sure. I don't know how difficult this one is. Uh, it is also an expert level block. Fifteen. I don't think I aid her. No, you do aid her. Oh, okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-one gets the. the so you, one you. success. Yep. Um, Another. Do I have to aid him? Uh, Twenty-seven. successes then a critical success oh yeah. damn okay so oscar let's see if these guys heard somebody there stupid 
stupid Knowles. You should know better. You're not allowed. You're not supposed to be back here. It's better be good. Okay. Uh, uh, Shadow. I'm gonna wiggle freaking Krieger over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shadow Shadow is marking one of them as their prey. He's setting... <laughs> looking through the peak hole, marking one of them as your prey. Okay, fine. Yep. Marking uh which one? Uh let's see. Whoever is gonna be in the back. Thieves tools go away and dagger comes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shadow's there like fucking two arrows is like great. He's fucking <laughs> uh Doom um, whines a little bit uh, and the dog. <laughs> These guys are. No, Knowles practically are dogs. One of the Knowles. Get out of there! You're not supposed to be in here. Should we open the door? Hey! Did you hear what I said? Okay, so so the guy in the back is the one that Shadow marked. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Do you hear him thumping at the door? <laughs> You piss Larith off. He's already angry as it is. Get the fuck out of there. I think Oscar's good to open the door and stop him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that's initiative. <laughs> um, I th I think what I'm going to do is there's no surprise round anymore, right? Like well, there's a, so there. rogues get surprise rounds when you use stealth-based initiatives. Or deception-based initiatives. Got it. So this is a stealth-based initiative then. Right. So basically, with a stealth-based initiative, Oscar gets like his opponents are flat-footed. Okay. The crossbowman. And then we've got a uh, uh, what is it called? The uh, guard captain. And then Alareth the beautiful. Oh, is it against your code to go boiling oil on someone? Not enough to kill them, just enough to maim them. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Torture is against the code. <laughs> well, what if it was done in the heat of battle? <laughs> <laughs> that could be different, I guess. <laughs> as long as you're not already down. I'm in my kitchen and I'm trying to stir fry some noodles. <laughs> That's okay then. <laughs> Throw the noodles out. <laughs> or the spaghetti sauce. Don't get... Kids, don't get spaghetti sauce. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Hot spaghetti sauce be bad. <laughs> Tasty, but bad. <laughs> okay, I've rolled initiatives. Ald gets a nat 20 in his roll. He's not... He's hanging. Hanging out. <laughs> Lareth the Beautiful doesn't know anything is wrong. Krieger. Door opens and there's a guy standing there. He's got a loaded crossbow, but he's. <gasps> oh, who's Alt? The guy in the tree. The guy with the sore leg. Oh. Why is he here? Just, he's he was still, just on the initiative sheet. List. Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is supposed to be stealth based initiative. My bad. Oh. Uh, uh, roll. Nope. Um. For you guys, it was stealth. For them, it was not, which is really weird. Yeah. Sorry, I don't have the technology to do this. It, it, yeah, you have to do like this. Like group A uses blah, and group B uses yep. blah. Okay, Ptolemy is going to use a three-action spell to make his tentacles uh, um, uh, twenty feet. Oh, cool! So touching cool. the shit out of people. Yep. Sorry, sorry. As they're growing long, and it kind of bumps into uh, bumps into to Darian. I know how you don't like these things, but they're my tentacles, my suction cups, my inky blackness. Krieger. Uh, Krieger's going to rage and kill that guy. Okay. Bro. The yeah, the door. <laughs> the guy. We, we got we got him to open the door. Or actually, Oscar opened the door. Yeah, Oscar opened the door, and. Here's Johnny. I mean, here's Krieger. David Letterman. Ah! Can... Uh, I don't think that, that fucking hits anything. I don't think so either. 
21. That hits. Twenty-seven points of damage. Okay, he's <laughs> he's a um, a third level dude. So eight hit points, and then he's, he's 30, 30 hit points. thirty-six is forty-four hit points. So yeah, twenty-seven. He's bloodied. Well, it doesn't make sense. Wait, thirty-eight for human, plus six is forty-four. Yes. Yeah. Should be eight. The third. He's third level human. Third level. Yeah. 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 So that makes sense. Okay. All right, so yeah, he he's he's bloodied as the axe comes hammering down. Ah! Crusher. Uh, uh, there's a guy in the back. <clears throat> is there room for an extra person to go to the door, or is it? Nope, he's blocking the door. Yeah, I think tumble just, through just is a thing. Tumble oh. through or delay? Yeah, tum. No, I can tumble through and get to the guy in the back. Okay, you need to probably roll. Tumble. Through. Yeah. You could also shove him. If you wanted? You know, I'll try to try to tumble through. I can get to that guy in one round. Uh, one move. So it is acrobatics. I believe so. Crusher. It's your acrobatics. Oh, you tool. Tumble through is a single action, and it is a untrained action. Okay, let's, uh... Yep, yep. There's Crusher. Natural one, baby. Okay, so you <laughs> start up somewhere. your speed. During your movement, you can try to move through an enemy's face. Uh, and you failed, so your movement ends, and you trigger reactions as a result of your move. So y y that action ended, and you end up here. Y you still have two more actions in your turn. Um... You could try again. Yeah, let's try again. Okay, you stride again. Trying to move move through the doorway. Nope. Oh, that's a... 16? Uh, his reflex DC would be... 2, 5, 6. So you, you actually do get through. Okay. And you're moving all the way up to the next guy? Yep. Okay. Um... Intruders! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he doesn't have a chance to say that yet. <laughs> a d20 plus, uh, oh. Alright. Uh, He's about to turn his head to y'all. He's like, <laughs> uh, 11. Come on, crit. Oh, 25. Hits. Oh, he's flat footed? He's not flat footed. You need a power for that. Oh, awesome. Come on, crit. Fuck. 17. Uh, oh, they've got uh, the train, so two. Um, dex of two is 14. Their level is three, so 17, and they have armor. So No, he doesn't have armor. His armor was off because it was just relaxed in the basement. AC 19. I'm charging? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Okay, so uh, uh, so you use two actions to get to him and one action to punch. Fleur, uh, eleven damage. Uh, it should be d six. Yes, sorry, because I'm not mounted. Four plus uh, four is eight damage. Eight damage. Okay. Eight damage. Wow. Drakester, how's it going? Yeah, Jake. Oscar. Uh, well, had to do there. <laughs> ah, he has this look of complete horror on his face as he's got this horrible axe uh, uh, slashing towards him. And We're gonna start the stabberinos. Where's my rapier? <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> I got two questions for you. <laughs> my rapier. <laughs> uh, AC eighteen against his flat-footed AC hits because of the flat-footed. Uh, AC 26 against his flat footed AC. Uh, missed by one for from a crit. Crit. Uh, I. Oh, I've got that thing where I can go just add one to a d20 roll. You want to do that? Probably not. Because I should be able to kill him. Oh, alarm's gonna go off anyways. 
I will do. Father. Uh, I'll do damage on these two. And okay. Uh, eight damage. Thirty-five. Uh, and another eight damage. Forty-three. He's got one hit point. How's <laughs> chicken parm? How's chicken parm? Uh, uh, we had a uh, uh, stone uh, wood-fired pizza instead. Uh, and then a one. And then I had a couple of whiskeys on top of some beer, and I felt like shit this morning. Shit. <clears throat> some Habiki whiskey, like Japanese whiskey, it was really good. Kick your ass. <laughs> they kicked my ass though. Uh, I, he's got one hit point, and I, I missed on my last one. Okay. Uh, Darian. Darian is... No. Uh, I'm going to go pack in here. <laughs> Stab him a couple times. He's like, well, that didn't go to bad. He's <laughs> just going to go here in case he needs, somebody needs some... Okay. Shielding. Shielding. No, shield? no, I don't you, have a you shield. Have, you don't have a shield. Oh, either. man, Shadow rolled a two? Fuck. Oh, Crossbowman, so this guy stands back. Uh, could someone check how quick you can reload a crossbow? Uh, it depends on the size of the crossbow. It's a light crossbow. These guys are. Where's my initiative? Uh, plus five. Heavy crossbow. Trained. Is to reload. A, a light crossbow is not a weapon. There's heavy crossbow and hand crossbow. Reload is one. Okay. That one, as he takes a step back and fires at, uh, at Bone Crusher and then reloads. Get one action to reload. And then this guy, five foot steps back, fires at Oscar. That fuck you think you're getting away with? AC 10, and then reloads. <laughs> Atronas! Atronas! Fucking yelling. <laughs> Come on, shut up, bro. Okay, <laughs> all the guys stand. Stand up, which is an action. Grab their stuff, which is an action. And they're starting to move over. Is this where we find out that in this, in this version, crossbows still suck? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what they. Get, I wonder what they do. Like uh, what? What they're. Um... Uh, they are. Uh, well, the, the basic ones. Yep. Have no weapon traits. Huh. But they're simple, so that's probably why. Right. Um... Anybody can use them. Uh, which is like. It's weird. They're still weird. They don't. They don't match reality really well. Oh shit, son! Uh, no, there is a crossbow. There, th so they're using crossbows. Okay. Um, but it's still one reload. Okay. They've got heavy crossbow, hand crossbow, and crossbow. Got it. 120 feet range is pretty good. That's that's the. Uh... Yeah. Neat. All right. Um, you can hear you can hear the the that there are more soldiers and guards coming. You were told their numbers. Earth, they think this trouble. Guard captain. All right. This guy is in heavier armor. Did he start over there, or did he move with the other guys? Oh, uh, yeah. He was. Uh, he stood up, grabbed his stuff, and then single moved. Um, and what's a big scary weapon for him? Let's pick the most expensive weapon. Actually, that war flail. Here's the thing. A war flail is pretty decent, but a elven curve blade or a is like. Okay, he's got a mall. Guy captain's got a mall. He's got a mall. Yeah. That's good. Three gold pieces. Yeah. Shadow. Okay, Shadow's gonna get the. Pup to as a so as a move action. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get the pup to move here. Can the pup attack? Yes. After. No, after. Like I want it to move. I want to attack and then have it attack. Sure. Okay, so it's gonna move here, and then I'm gonna attack that guy in the back. 
Okay. He's my um, prey. Prey. Yeah. So we're going to do three rounds on him. One, two, three shots on him. Yeah. So that's um, 13. Good. 13. So Shadow yells, attack! And dog goes running in. Uh, 30? Hits. 20 plus. Critical hit. 25? Hit. And I'm not trying to derail, but I'm looking at the weapon section. And of the four uncommon advanced weapons that they have, one of them is a goddamn like battle yo-yo. Oh fuck yeah! There's a fuck. Like, of, they picked. They got four weapons. Combat yo-yo. <laughs> Fifteen is a miss, right? Fifteen is a miss. Okay, then the wolf gets to attack the guy. It's well, do damage first on this guy. Oh right, because no, that's I'm, the wolf's attacking a different guy. So uh, that's 3d8 plus 6 plus 1d10 for the crit. Oh, there you go. Uh, 25. 25 damage. Uh, 33. He's badly, badly injured. His three arrows are sticking out of him. <gasps> okay. Lauris, uh, get Lauris! I need healing! I'll be first! Um, so the wolfie, or Doom, is going to do... One, two, eight. So plus six. D twenty plus six. Come on, get him. Twenty two. Woohoo. So yeah, he the does. wolf savages this guy. He does ten damage. Does he get auto trip? Yeah, he does. Well, ten that, damage, that... he's dead, so the the wolf is attacking him and <laughs> jumps at his face and Good bites boy. him. Alright. Uh, <laughs> He's bears, Alker. <laughs> Alker. Uh, this feels like we're getting aggressive. Tommy oh, just nice. nods and his tentacle arms are all out. <laughs> <laughs> this is loose. Civilization, everyone. Remember, we're fighting demons. <laughs> Bless. Okay. Ald, still tied up to the tree. Ptolemy. I think I had a dream about this. Crossbows are coming. Stay in the back. Okay, so he moves in. Crusher tells him to get the fuck out. He moves back and he'll raise his shield spell. Well, well. Oh, Castro's here. Get the fuck back in. <laughs> <sighs> so which tactics are you going to use this time? Is that question to us? <sighs> I find this all so boring. It's happening. You, uh, that Goldilocks fella. It's happening, just like you said, Larith, says the guard captain. Yes, yes. We're fighting in the hallway again. Well, get after it. <laughs> you are, you are, Larith. Get him in. Krieger. <laughs> Uh, he'll use his... No. Yeah, he'll use sudden charge to get around the same bit. Of... Okay. <laughs> um, yes, maybe they did bring something interesting. I don't remember the loud, angry man. AC 22. Yeah, you run around the guy and bed your axe in his back. <laughs> Twenty-five damage. Uh, killing him. Interesting. Very interesting. Whose idea was it to bring the strong man? Was that you, Ptolemy? Oscar? 
Bone Crusher? Alcur? Why are you talking like you know me? Shadow? Tell me, Shadow's there. Does he have a pup this time? So, uh, do me a favor and shut the fuck up. We'll talk to you when we're done. <laughs> sure. Maybe I'll interrogate you. Maybe you'll interrogate me. Bone Crusher? Yeah, Mountain Stride. First, we're going to move our asses up there. Move! Uh, we're moving, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking legs aren't that long, fucker. <laughs> Bone Crusher, uh, how long has it been since I've seen your ugly face? Never met you, you dumb bastard. Oh, yes, well, he rolls his eyes. You guys get here? <laughs> oh, yes. Or is it going to be a pincushion time? Um, ha, sure ha, he is. makes fun of your mountain stance. Uh, so wait, hold on. Fucking Crusher, dumbass. Pressure gets to that's one move. Yep. Um, Come on, we don't have all day. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he's saying to Crusher. <laughs> um, he's gonna get them to focus if they nice up when there. the NPC's sarcastic snarkiness just coincides with your own snarkiness. <laughs> 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 Uh, actually, no. He, he's gonna, he's gonna. Crusher's gonna go on this side. Yep. And take the mountain stance. Ah, oh, there we are. So predictable. So similar. If I had someone else to talk to about this, I'd actually place bets and probably win. Oscar, well, I should keep that mouth warm and pretty for me. <laughs> We're coming. Uh, here comes the cop up. The copper pincher now. Oscar's turn. Yep. <laughs> I, I don't like it when you talk funny like. <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking funny. <laughs> oh uh, yes, but you if you do win, you'll enjoy going through my things. Uh, so we'll just double move up and then grab cover from around the corner. Okay. Darian. Uh, hang on, I'm coming. <laughs> oh. You're not actually, you didn't actually, did you move up further or did you go back at him? Oh. He double moved and then took cover. Okay. Darian. That's my name, don't wear it out. Crossbowmen are all like aiming and ready. Get that one. Fire! Um, they are going to fire at Bone Crusher. Yep. Good thing you went in that mountain stance, eh? <laughs> yes. So they get two attacks per round. Yep. Because it's like attack, reload, attack, and then the next time they get one right. One uh, AC nine, uh, fifteen, twenty-four, and thirteen. They all miss. 24 misses, 24 Crusher? Misses? Yes. Deflect arrows. Ah. Don't fire at the monk, you idiots! Get the paladin! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> they reload, and they're taking their secondary attacks on Darien. Don't fire at the paladin, you idiots! Fire at the, <laughs> fire at the other one! <laughs> uh, yes! 7, 11, 16, and 12. <laughs> Guard captain, he's gonna march up to Darien. I'll kill him. Will you now? I'm gonna figure out his... Hard no. <laughs> it's a hard no. Um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Four and four. Uh, oh, I wonder if this guard captain four. to get her. Word sounds funny. I'm not going to use it again. <laughs> hmm? AC 14? Fuck. N no. Okay. 
Okay, and then he takes a second attack. AC 10. No. Apparently he's rolling d6s. Oh, Welcome to my world. You take a, you take, you take a <laughs> step back from the mall, and then and then you get he gets in really close, and your your weapons are clanging against each other. Uh, Shadow. I'm gonna mark him as my prey. Okay. I'm going to unleash a couple arrows at him. Sure. One d twenty um, plus. See how far is that guy? No, I don't want. I don't want Poochie up there yet. Was it Ald? Ald showed you the back entrance this time, didn't he? Damn it! Wolf can't fit in there, can he? Yep. In there, can. Yep. Does he get cover from the archers? Yeah, he's around the corner. He's Sweet. Been, you're giving me a headache, buddy. Just, All right. Uh, so Calm down with this oracle nonsense. Uh, Shadow's <laughs> going to um, make him my prey. Then I'm going to fire two shots at him. Oracles don't really see things, you know. It's all just a trick. 22? Uh, you're attacking the guard sergeant? Yeah. Uh, let's see. What, is a, what does heavy armor give you? What are the armor values now? Max is plus five, I think. Uh, Unless full plate, I might be okay. more. So, full plate is plus six with no dex. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's a level two item. Sixteen. He's trained, so eighteen, and then we add his level is twenty-two. His AC is twenty-two. So I hit him twice. Oh, and, oh. Then, and then armor 20, twenty-eight, twenty-three. Uh, AC twenty-three. Ah, uh, twenty. What's his AC? Sorry. 23. 23. 23. Is, am I in the range of the bless? Uh, no. You're just outside. Sha Shadow? It's five foot range. I have to, I You're an asshole! <laughs> I was as close as I could be in the best Alright. I'm D8. Plus two. More damage. Okay. Uh, Wolfie's gonna take a bite at him. Yep. Or try. Try. Misses. At Thirteen. <laughs> fighters, um, actually, fight, no. Now get he's at. Right? Uh, Marty. Now he's at. Uh, get a reaction. Now he's at um, minus five move speed because I hit him when my animal is. This is the something that the wolf has. Um, benefit your wolf tears tendons with each opening. So until the start of my next turn, the strike damages creature. Blah blah blah. Gives it. So uh, strikes strikes that I do that damage a creature that my wolf threatens get a minus five, uh, five foot status penalty to speed for one minute. Okay. So it's it's pulling at his leg. So it's called attack of opportunity. It is a reaction, and it's like a classic. Okay. It's a classic AOO. I'll cur. <laughs> Alker is going to step over, which will grant our, which will grant that bless. I gotta continue, actually, I'll continue his movement. So here, uh, he's gonna double move, scoot up against the wall, and make his bless a little bit bigger. Bless, and it now gets Crusher, and it gets the, the front group. Okay. Very brave of you coming in here, priest. Very brave. Ptolemy comes running in. Why do you speak as if you know us? Because I do. We've done this before, and we're going to do it again and again and again. How very exciting. Oh, you I don't, don't like your tone. You don't remember me? Well, perhaps I should introduce myself. I always like this part. Uh, Ptolemy double moves in. What the hell is he talking about? He worships demons. Don't trust his lies. Shh! He knows our names! And we know his. And we know he worships a spider bitch. A bitch, huh? Well... 
Shall we show you her power? Don't insult my wolves. <laughs> <laughs> Puppies for the slaughter. Alright, he's gonna cast a spell. Drake, this this session started out pretty like run away, <laughs> run away hide, run away hide and cry. That was the first. Yeah, it was spot pretty painful. <laughs> <laughs> weep a little bit. Um, then we captured the guy. Mealy is finesse. I don't like the way you look at me, Darian. I never have. You're pathetic. God cannot save you now. Grashtaran, take from his blue eyes sight. What's that range now? Range. Uh, there's a there's a power like a, a a feat called reach spell. Yep. All right, let's figure out what this guy's DCs. So DC would be turn plus level plus trained in his own thing and then his charisma and then when do you become uh, one step higher in training in your in your spells uh, which what class is he cleric For cleric, uh, is he a domain cleric or a war cleric? Doesn't matter. Uh, it's seventh when he's a domain cleric, and it is a eleventh if you're a war cleric. Okay, no, he's neither of those. All right, so DC twenty-two, Darian, you need to make a fortitude save or become blind. I don't like your attitude. I am going to spend my hero point and re-roll that. Okay. We'll still fail. Can we hero... Can I spend a hero point to help on that? Nope. Okay. Uh, you are blinded for one minute. All right, everyone, retreat. <laughs> we'll be back, asshole. <laughs> Give us a minute. <laughs> okay, so he casts a spell, and then he then he moves back. Time to get the reinforcements. Krieger. Uh, Krieger. To sudden charge. Okay, he's going to take his reaction and attack you. AOO. Yeah. With his mole. AC 23. Hits. Okay. His mole does 2d12 plus 4. That's the new magic beat stick. Yep. <laughs> Thumper. 18 damage. Wham! Um. Who is that? I've never seen him before. I am going to react to that. So he's seen Darien before, but he hasn't seen Krieger before? Nope. Are you fucking with me. <laughs> so eighteen. Okay, so take uh, sixteen, ten after temporary hit points. Hang on, I get. Okay, so Krieger goes launching by this guy with the mall swinging around. He gets the mall kind of glanced off the side of his cheek. It hurts. And... Uh, Darian's gonna take his reaction. Can I react to a reaction? Yep. You can, but can you react to a reaction that you can't see? Yeah, does it does a prerequisite you must be able to see it? 
which just says damage uh, uh, someone damaged an ally damaged within 15 feet right so yep. let's look let's look at blinded condition you can't see you know, line up with critical fail perception checks that require to be able to see um <laughs> You take a minus four status penalty to perception checks. You are immune to visual effects, blinded, overrides, overrides, dazzled. There's no penalty to hit? No. There's, I think there's a flat check. Like attacking unseen foes? Yep. There's a flat check involved there. It'd be pity pity. Nope. Okay, so strange. But you can block, like you did retributive. Yeah, I, yeah. I did. Thing. I did the block thing. Works. Okay. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right, so you block and you try to hit him, but you're you're kind of swinging uh, yeah. for the fences. Krieger, Krieger. Ran, around, ran around, got thumped. Yeah. Right, let's go get the return thumping two times. Twenty. Is he Twenty misses. Flat footed AC. Twenty one is nope. flat footed. This is. Oh, and another attack. Nope. And a miss. Bone Crusher. Okay. Um, 10 damage. Okay, that's cool. No, 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 no. Oh, you okay, fucking he's, don't. He's already used his reaction, so you can go run yeah. and fight him. Okay, I'm stop being an asshole. All right, there we go. <laughs> Crusher does what's known as the pretzel maneuver. <laughs> hey, buddy. Seriously, Bone Crusher? You want to do this now, do you? Um. You like separating yourself from your group. <sighs> He's tall, six foot three. He's got flowing blonde hair and good features. His armor is somewhat golden. He's got a nice cape. Uh, he's going to try to grab him. Okay. I don't think that's going to stop him from casting spells. Uh, yeah. I think it does. It does something. He'd have to do a. F he'd have to do a check or something. He's got a staff in his hands. All right. Let's pressure. I think it's just my it's just my uh, acrobat uh, my athletics check. Mm -hmm. Yep. Twenty one. No. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what they have a website now. Yay! Let's see if I can find something really quickly. So. Pathfinder. Oh. It's against his fort DC. Yeah, so fort DC, let's let's figure this out. Uh, his fort would be ten plus his level plus his uh, con and then plus two trained. Uh, what, uh, sorry, what what type of uh... cleric? Which type of cleric? Domain. Uh, domain cleric. Uh, I think domain cleric has the uh, increased or expert fort save by his level. Okay, and then he he probably has an item that increases his saving throws, so his fort's actually DC is twenty three. So you you miss. You try to grab him. He wiggles out. He wiggles out. Um. A view. Or w wiggles out of your grasp. Uh. Bone Crusher moved and try to grab him. <clears throat> crusher, Crusher, Crusher. You don't want to harm me. Why don't you give me the trash? Stick your head right here and I'll see. We could do such great things together if we only work together. We'll all get what we want. What is it you think we fucking want? You want to go what and kill, kill some demons in the temple. Don't let me stop you. In fact, I can help you. We can't 
can't listen to one who worships demons. Oh, Alcar, your sermons are so droll. Uh, Bone Crusher, what are you doing? Oh, that's it, because uh, I had to double move to get up there. Okay, Oscar. And uh, that was my action. Oscar? Yep. Well, hey, that guy did his reaction, so let's get ourselves a flank and stab him. <laughs> yeah, you're getting your, your flank with the puppy. Yay! Natural one. N that one. <laughs> okay. Darian, you one more, don't you? No, it was double move. Ah, uh, balls. Darian, you're blind. Uh, he's going to. I guess he's gonna. Alper can cast that spell, so he automatically recognizes it. Yep. Um, it should it should pass in a few moments. <clears throat> Flat check hits. Or I can yep. hit. Yep. Nope. You see 16, now you hit armor. Clank. Flat check. I, uh, I can I can hit. Uh, six. Clang, clang! Hitting the side of his half plate. And I can hit. Uh, one. One. Need a 20. Nope. Fuck. <laughs> okay, Knowles. Crossbowman. All right. Ah, oh, they see Krieger. Get the barbarian! Really? There's a crazed monk grabbing at their master. Come on. Let's get you. 12, 16, 13, 17. Uh, uh, and then they reload? And then they reload and fire? No, they're... Last time they fired, reloaded, fired. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so have to fire, reload, reload, fire, reload. Uh. <laughs> uh, guard captain. <laughs> well, that guy hits hard. Let's put Krieger down. So Krieger's getting a maul. You see 25. Yes. Block that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to block that. 23 damage. So... Well, this man is blood. So much <laughs> blood hits Krieger with the side of the face again. 17 damage. How many hit points does do you get to um, negate? At, at this level, uh, six. He's going to take a second swing at Krieger. Oh, uh, hang on. I'm going to see if I can hit you. We've done almost no damage to the captain, so... I, I can hit him. Okay. Uh, he's flanked, so... Uh, it still misses. 21. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's 23, I think. All right, he doesn't like this flank business, uh, so he... And then AC 21 against Krieger, does that hit? Uh, yes, it does, when he's uh, raging. Even with leveling? When he's raging, yeah. Okay. He hammers down on Krieger. Ah, oh, this time only nine. And then he'll five foot step out of this nonsense. Think of what we could do with your raging barbarian if he isn't killed in this skirmish. Shadow. Is he from one of your villages? Is he a native? What's changed the timeline? Oh, I'll explain it all to you again. It's fucking exhausting. I've let's, got nothing but time. Let's start with I am special. Yeah, I'll show you fucking special. Let's <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> <I've seen> that. <laughs> Uh, Shadow, what, what's Shadow doing? Oh, it's Shadow's turn. Uh, Shadow's gonna move up. That's too far. Well, 25. He can see the archers. Is there any cover? Yeah, you're probably gonna around a corner. Alright, let's go another one. This goes there. And he'll start putting some archers down. Actually, uh, he can hit.